Hi everyone! Today we're introducing our new Baylight product, Sanotypes. Today we'll also be showing you how to make your very own Sanotype prints using the power of the sun. Our first step actually started 24 hours ago when we took these bottles and filled it up with water from our tap to about right here in each. After that, you let them develop for 24 hours and then they're good to go. So when it comes to the cyanotypes, when you're filling up the water here, how long does it last? Well, if you don't mix them, you keep part A and part A bottle and part B and part B's bottle, they will last up to six months. Okay, and does it matter the type of water? Uh, you can just use regular tap. Uh, it does recommend that you use cool water though, instead of like something very warm or hot. That makes sense, that makes sense. All right, so uh, what's the next step then? Well, now that these have already developed for 24 hours, nice and mixed, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and start measuring them out and add equal parts of A and B into our cup here. So I'm gonna measure that out. Excellent. And of course, I think you're using the fancy graduated cylinder on this one. Yeah, but you can really use anything. Just kind of eyeball it. As long as you have the same amount. It's just part, uh, what's it called? One to one yes. ratio? It's part of our charms, that precision. 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 Precise. Everything precision. All right. I'm just going to pour that into a cup here. That's part A. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go ahead and get to part B. The colors always confuse me. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny how it's going to turn into this beautiful blue color in a mm -hmm. little bit. Yes, but first, when actually when you mix it together, it'll end up being a slightly different color, right? It kind of it's kind of murky. Um, yeah, we have that yellow and that kind of dark color. It'll mm -hmm. just kind of look like a murky. So you're going to take your spoon and just mix it up really quick. Mix, mix, mix. That looks. Oh, just like a dirty yellow, I guess you could mm -hmm. say. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> Almost green, I guess, and in, in depending on uh, how you're looking at it. Yeah. Some lighting. Okay, so then now that we have this part of it, mm -hmm. what do we do? All right, so cyan type works on paper. We took watercolor paper. Uh, don't use regular paper because you're gonna have to put this in water, mm -hmm. and regular paper will just fall apart. So watercolor paper, keep it nice and thick here, and then you take a sponge brush or a. I guess this is a sponge brush. Yeah like this, and just dip it in. Let me just clear it out for you guys. Yep. And then you just put that on your paper, just like that. Oh yeah, it is kind of a, a muddy, green color. muddy green kind yeah. of thing going on. So one of the questions I know that people are probably going to be asking is, how long does this last whenever you mix it? So you said six months separate. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, so now they put it together here. Yes. About how... So this how only lasts two to four hours, and you want to be kind of careful because this is all about light sensitivity. It's uh, UV activated, mm -hmm. and so you kind of want to keep it in a dark area or at least away from the sun. Mm, I see, yeah. That's why our kind of our studio lights are a little dim, right? Right. And after you put it on the paper, you just let that dry completely, and you're on ready for the next step. Excellent. All right, now that our paper has dried, uh, we're going to take our frame here under this and take this backing and put it on top of here. Now what's going to happen is that we're going to place a leaf on our um, colored paper and what is not covered by this leaf is going to be turned blue in the sun. So I'll show you that. I'm going to add a couple more leaves just for fun. Uh, we have some here already. And then I'm going to take the glass from the frame just to flatten it out. There we go. And flip it upside down. That way we can take it outside, no problem. All right, now we'll go take it outside and uh, let the sun do its magic. Now we're gonna go outside and set our project in the sun. I'm gonna set a timer for two minutes out here in the Texas heat. Uh, that's plenty of time, but if you live somewhere with more clouds, it might take a little bit longer. All right, now that we've had it out in the sun for a couple minutes, uh, we're going to go ahead and take it out of the frame and put it in some water to wash off the chemicals. And depending how bright it is, you only need it out there for, um, in the Texas heat, you only need about three minutes or less, and somewhere else with a little bit more shade, you might take, it might take a few minutes, up to 30 minutes, I think. Alright, I just dip it in and let the magic begin. Okay, 
And now we're just gonna go ahead and set this aside to dry. All right, now that we've washed our print, it's all dried up, and this is what it looks like in the end. Pro tip, you can use hydrogen peroxide, put a few drops of that in the water, and it'll darken that blue a lot more. And now we have Jeremy, he's gonna show us how you can use film negatives to make a uh, cyanotype print. Yeah, so the first thing that you do is you have to get one of these. It's a printable transparency specifically for inkjet. It could be anything, right? If you do screen printing or other things like that, you can kind of use the same idea with it. In this case, we're using this inkjet printable. Um, and what you do with this is there is a ink side and there's a non-ink side. So make sure that when you're printing, it's upwards and it's actually getting printed on. So after you print out your negative, it's going to look something like this. This is what we're going to be doing here. That. So we have our little Bob Barely Art Bear right there. And what you're going to do with this is pretty much the same thing that we've done before, just with the leaves, right? So first things first, we're going to use the frame again. I'm going to take this off. We'll put the transparency down. And then, of course, we'll put our paper right on top of that. I'm going to line it up best I can. And again, just go ahead and Put this on top, make sure it's nice and secure, especially if it's windy out there. And so we should have that there. All right, let's go outside. And there we have it, our beautiful cyanotype prints. Oh, it turned out so well. I think so too. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed um, this little demonstration of our new Bailey Art Cyanotype kits. And we can't wait to see what you guys make, if it's cards, if it's what, uh, if you're using leaves or photos. We are so excited to see you guys get creative with these. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>